There was a welcome sight for the world's Catholics to start Holy Week. Pope Francis celebrating Palm Sunday before a massive crowd in St. Peter's Square just one day after the 86-year-old was released from the hospital. NBC's Ann Thompson has made her way to Vatican City. She joins us. And good morning. Good morning, Craig, from a very windy Vatican City. It was just 24 hours ago that Pope Francis was here on St. Peter's Square a day after being released from the hospital for bronchitis. Really, as you said, a welcome sight for the world's Catholics and the world. He wanted to show the world and Catholics that he can still lead this church. Bundled up against a chilly Roman morning, the Pope blessed palms and he presided over Palm Sunday Mass. He did have a slight cough, perhaps a remnant of that bronchitis. He delivered the homily and went off the cuff, surely a sign that he is feeling better. And then at the end of Mass, he thanked everyone who had prayed for him during his illness. The Pope then got on the Pope Mobile and traveled through the crowd of 60,000 who had come to worship with him. And you could really see that the Pope was energized by the cheering and the great welcome back he got from them. Now, this is a a very busy week for the 68 or excuse me 86 year old pontiff he resumed his private audiences today he will have a public audience on Wednesday and then on Holy Thursday he will travel to a juvenile prison on Good Friday he will be at the way of the cross and then he'll be back here in St. Peter's Square to preside over Easter Sunday mass and you can bet all this week that the world will be watching to see just how he holds up Craig the always unflappable Ann Thompson not getting blown over there in Vatican City. Ann, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.